The grid's down, the sun is shining, and your solar panels, they're useless. Did you spend thousands on solar panels only to find out that they don't work during a blackout? In this video, I'll explain why. At first glance, this seems insane. You have solar panels, why don't they work? So what can you do to have power in your home during a utility blackout? I mean, if it's sunny and I've got solar panels, it must power the house, right? Okay, so here's the problem. If you have a standard grid-tied solar system, this means with no batteries, you just have solar panels and a solar inverter, your system will automatically shut down during a power outage. This is because solar inverters are grid-following inverters. They cannot form a grid. And this, it's not a design flaw. It's actually required by law, and it keeps utility workers safe because the lines must be de-energized while they make repairs. So these grid-tight inverters, they're actually designed to shut off unless they detect power from the grid. Okay, so you wanna have power during a grid outage? I have three options for you, all at different costs and capabilities. First, the low cost option. Get a portable battery backup system, something like a Jackery or an EcoFlow. These are great for renters or for people who don't wanna permanently install anything. With these, you can run a fridge, charge your phone, keep the Wi-Fi on. They're compact, easy to use, and don't require an electrician. It's a great emergency tool to have around, especially when the zombies come, the zombie apocalypse. But the downside of this option is that you will need to unplug your appliances from the wall sockets and then run extension cords to this box. Next is a mid-range option. Install a 240 volt generator inlet port on your electrical panel. I actually just did this when I got a new electrical panel at my house. I asked the electrician if he could add a generator inlet port while he was doing it. He only added a few hundred bucks on the, on the project. So this is a low cost option and it gives you flexibility later. So once you have the inlet port installed, then you need to buy a gas generator or another portable battery backup system. But for this battery backup system, it needs to be larger and be capable of that 240 volts. Then you just plug it in whenever you need it. And on top of that, you don't even need to buy it yet. You can wait till there's a power outage and then go run to your local hardware store and buy a generator or buy a battery backup and plug it in when you get home. So while this might power a lot of things in your home, be careful to assume that you're gonna back up your entire house with it. This setup will struggle to give you a whole home backup, but you'll be able to use the regular wall sockets that you have all your appliances already plugged into. So you could power your fridge, your lights, your internet, a well pump, and your furnace for your heating. But just don't expect to be running your air conditioner off of it. The third option is a whole home backup with a solar and battery system. This is the most expensive option. It usually ranges from $15,000 to $40,000, depending on how much solar and battery capacity and the available rebates and incentives. But the upside is huge, and let me tell you why. So not only do you get backup power during an outage, you can also drop your annual electricity bill significantly, in some cases nearly to zero. And this is not even possible in those first two options that I told you about. So while the upfront cost is higher, this is the only option that pays you back monthly and the only one that you can get incentives for. So with this third option, you get backup power and savings every month. That's a win-win. So whether you wanna keep a few essential appliances running or back up your entire house, there's a solution for every budget. Okay, so let's say that you're determined to have backup without any batteries. You wanna do it with solar only. There are two inverters that can do this, but it only works when the sun is shining. There are two solar inverters that can provide power during a blackout without batteries. And that is the SMA Sunny Boy inverters, as long as it has the secure power supply feature, and also the Enphase IQ8 microinverters, along with the sunlight backup kit. So these systems, they can give you limited daytime power without batteries, but it's not whole home backup. But here's the thing, if you don't have those inverters already, this doesn't really help you much unless you add batteries or a generator. But if you have a generator and you have a solar only system, you still can't use the solar during a grid outage, unless you run that solar power to a battery backup system because it can manage loads and the solar inputs together. All right, here's where we get a little bit more technical. If you already have solar, here's the good news. You don't have to rip it out. You can AC couple your existing system to a new battery based inverter, something like the Solark or the Victron, and you can get backup power that way. And if you're starting from scratch, I would just plan for a solar and battery system from the get-go. 
Some of these inverters even let you install the solar and the hybrid inverter in, and you can wait to do batteries later. Batteries are pretty expensive, so that's one way to keep your costs down on doing a new installation. But you have to pick the right inverter that's capable of that. But it takes some forward thinking and some planning to do it right. To make this work, you just need the right balance. You need enough battery capacity. You need to choose the right hybrid inverter. And then you need to get enough solar panels that can be sure to recharge the batteries every day. I've got a free calculator that you can download today. Click below in the YouTube description to design your system today. All right, all solar inverters are grid following. This includes SolarEdge, Enphase, SMA. They need the grid's 60 hertz signal to operate. But grid forming inverters, such as the Solark and the Victron, they can create their own 60 hertz signal and act as the new heartbeat for your home during a blackout. And that's what makes real backup power possible. On top of that, there's two ways to tie in solar with batteries. There's AC coupled, and there's DC coupled. And honestly, there's pluses and minuses to both versions. And that's probably a whole new video to talk about those topics. But if you're retrofitting an existing solar system and you wanna add batteries to it, maybe you already installed the solar years ago, going AC coupled makes a lot of sense. But if you're starting from scratch, I'd suggest finding inverter that can help you go DC coupled. This makes it more efficient and easier to control. What's interesting is some of the newer products today, such as Enphase, they're still AC coupled systems. This is strange, it's less efficient. The DC coupled systems are kind of the old school way. Outback, Schneider, SMA, that's how people have been doing it for two decades. But one of the new school inverters, Solark, is a great example of having a DC coupled system with some of the new technology for doing control systems. Check out my other video about Solark time of use settings. But given a blank slate, I'd always choose to do a DC coupled system. Something like with a Solark or a Victron, and there's even some other inverters out there too, like SunGrow and GrowWatt. GrowWatt? GrowWatt, it's a real inverter. I didn't make that one up, it's a real one. Okay, the grid goes down, you have no power. The answer is get some batteries. There's different ways to add batteries to your house. Whether you're starting fresh and getting solar panels and batteries at the same time, or if you already have solar on your roof, there's ways to get backup power ready. Okay, hopefully this video convinced you that batteries are probably the way to go if you want power during a grid outage. Like and subscribe below for more videos on solar and batteries. Thanks everyone, see you next time.